Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 77. Okay, I'm gonna hop in. I actually got a lot of finished objects this week. Um, I have one whip that I've worked on and one that's kind of in hibernation just for now, just because I was busy working all this stuff. But yeah, I don't have a lot to share today, so I'm just probably won't be a long video. And um, as some of you, most of you know that my wedding and Jesse's birthday are coming up the week after Easter. It's the next weekend. So I've been super busy with all kinds of stuff for that. But I'm going to go ahead and hop in and do my finished objects. And then, yeah, I guess that'll be it. <laughs> Alright, I got one, two, three, four, five, six finished objects. But one I don't have with me. There's a bunch of teenagers if you hear it. The high school is behind us. But um, the finished object that I don't have with me is, if you want to see it, you can go over to Funny Farm Creations and watch her latest video. It's in there. <laughs> it was a gift that I made for her. But it was a crochet Oscar award or Academy Award, whatever it's called, um, that I made her because of her performance on April Fool's. <laughs> she got us good with that with her video that day. So I thought she deserved an award, and I sent her one. But um, it was a free pattern, and I will link it below. I think it's called the Oscar Award. But it's by Inspiring Everyday Creations. It's a free pattern on their website. It's a blog, I think. But I made it with Red Heart Super Saver Black and um, the gold color. I can't remember if it's gold or something like that, but it's the gold color. How schools make a lot of noise. Alright, my next finished object is a fair project, I think. I made it as my crochet hat for the fair, but I don't know if I'm going to make another one. This one's cute, but I don't know. I'll just have to make it on mine later. But it is a Heidi Yates pattern, which is snap, Snappy Tots. It is a paid-for pattern, but when you buy this pattern, you get like four different ones. Um, I got a message. <laughs> I'll get another one here in a minute, and I'll have to check it too. But, um, like I was saying, you get a bunch of different patterns. I think three or four different type animals, and I did the tiger, just because I like orange and black. But it's just a little kid hat with, it's called Cool Beanies, yeah, by Snappy Tots. It is a paid-for pattern. But they got sunglasses on and, you know, they're just cool minis. <laughs> but um, this one fits Jesse. He likes it. And I think it's cute. It is Red Heart Super Saver Aaron. Um, this is scraps of a discontinued Red Heart accents. And I think it's just purple or something like that. This is Heather or Gray or something like that. <laughs> Black and the orange. Um, I don't remember what it's called. Orange pumpkin. I don't know. Carrot. <laughs> So I'm thinking it's the bright orange. But yeah, super quick. I made it in one setting. And the pom-pom needs to be trimmed a little. But, um, it'll be okay. <laughs> I liked it. And, uh, I don't know. I may make the other ones. I got this pattern for free forever ago. She randomly gives away patterns. And I've had this one for a while. So I just thought I'd make it. Alright. Finished object number three is the sixth square in the Unraveled Mittens Scrap Square Cow that's going on this year. <laughs> I think it's the sixth one. I, it is done, but I forgot to weave in one end, so I'll have to weave it in. This is made with Red Heart Super Saver Blue and that orange. <laughs> Again, I can't remember what it's called. But it is the um, Wide Checkered Square by the Unraveled Mitten, which is a free pattern on her website. If you go to Ravelry, it's a paid-for pattern, but you can use a link through her Ravelry to get it for free. But it's just like a checkered uh, pattern. I like this one. It was really easy to do, and I did it in one setting. I liked it a lot. It's pretty. I can't wait to get that blanket put together. I am working on the seventh square, and I'm not liking it at all. I'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's next? The fourth finished object is a little frog. <laughs> it's called the Frog King by... Oh, gosh. El Spilata. I don't know how to spell it. Say that right. Amigurumi Press. It's a free pattern. <laughs> I made this. This is Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's called Green Tones. Yeah, Green Tones. I'm going to be making a couple more of these frogs and maybe some lizards or something with that. His eyes look funky, but they're just, they look evenish. They are evenish. His mouth is crooked, but that's okay. It's homemade. But it's just this little frog. He's kind of in the shape of an egg with little legs that you make separate and so on. And the same with the eyes. And the, the white of the eyes are separate from the green. And you like put it in there and sew it in really cute uh the pattern has a little crown but i didn't put the crown i just wanted a cute little frog i'm gonna make up a few of these for that craft show that i'm hoping to do later this uh fall and i thought this would be a cute use for this green tone yarn i got it gifted to me i think becky from funny funny farm crochet i think it was in one of the boxes she sent me 
Um, and I've been, I knew I wanted to use it for an amigurumi, and I thought a frog would be great for it. But there's plenty enough left for me to make some more frogs, and I thought maybe some lizards or a snake or something. I just want to make a bunch of little amigurumi toys uh, to take with me to that craft fair. But this is a free pattern, so check it out. And it's a free um, PDF download, so you get a nice copy of it. For free. Let's see here. My next finished object, number five is the crochet part is finished i do still need to get a strap for it and i need to um put a liner in it if i'm going to do a liner but it is called the urban gypsy boho bag by make and do crew <laughs> it's a free pattern on their website and it's a boho bag it's a purse i made this for the fair for the category purse and it's got a lot of uh fringe tassels so i do still need to line it with some fabric and put a um I want to try to find like a leather handle at a, on a purse or a belt or something at a thrift store maybe tomorrow or Saturday whenever Friday um, to put on here but the way you make this is pretty cool it's two squares there's a front and a back and you make the two squares and then these are triangles this way they're made this way and then so you, when you finish it you sew the squares together halfway in the v-shape and then you take the triangles and you fold them and sew them to the, each square so that makes the bag. And then this little top border, these two rows are added um, after you sew it all together and then you add all the fringe. <laughs> so now I'm almost done with it. Um, the crochet is all done, so I'm counting it as a finished object. And I'll try to remember to show it again later when I do line it and put the belt on it, just so you guys can see what it looks like um, completely finished. But I think it's cute. I may actually use it. I used Red Heart Super Saver Erin for this because I have some that I need to use up and I thought, you know, Thought it was a good color for it especially with like a brown belt if i can get a brown belt for the handle all right my last finished object this one i'm actually going to talk about for a second this is a pattern that i tested i tested one recently for a cute little baby frog in a little bottle and the same lady her name is michelle estrada but her um yeah her rivalry store is just michelle estrada's rivalry store but on instagram she's pixel marie i think I'll try to remember to link both down below, her Instagram if you want to check it out, and her, of course, her rivalry store. So I made the frog for her, and then she asked me again if I wanted to test another pattern for her. And she sent it to me, and it's really cute, and I finished it. And she just made it live today for sale on rivalry. So I just paid for a pattern, but it's really cute. And I'm going to actually put this in my craft fair thingy later this year, and I might make some more of these. And if she comes out with any more patterns in between now and then, I will make some more. Because I really like her pattern so far. The two that I've done for her, uh, I've really enjoyed. But this one is super cute. I can't show you. But it is called the Piggy Stuffed Pillow Pattern. <laughs> it's kind of like a, um, who makes them? I can't remember. 3AM Designs or something like that. They make these flat pillow things. And so this is kind of reminds me of one of their patterns. His nose is crooked, but that's okay. He doesn't have to be perfect. But yeah. So his colors are Red Heart Super Saver Perfect Pink, um, I think this one's Rouge or something like that, and I can't remember what this gray is, but it is Red Heart Super Saver gray. And he has safety eyes, they're blue, <laughs> and a stitched on mouth, which he, I'm thinking about redoing his mouth because he doesn't look happy, but um, he's super cute, I just loved him. And he has a tail. <laughs> now mine will be different than yours if you get this pattern because her pattern is single stranded worsted weight with um, a H hook. I use double stranded worsted weight with an H hook because I wanted to use this pink color and it's really thin um, worsted weight. It's just the color I guess the red heart and um, so there was a lot of holes in it so I ripped it back and I started it again with double stranded this pink yarn and I think it looked a lot better so it may be a little bit bigger than one you make or if I make another one with a different color, but it's just because this color pink is a lot thinner, so I went ahead and doubled it up. But it's super cute. It's made in one, two, four pieces. The nose is separate, the tail is separate, and then the front and back are separate. But all the legs and ears are attached to, um, you know, the back side and the front side. Oh yeah, and these. I forgot these two little pieces are separate. But uh, it's super quick. I mean, I made this super fast. Mm, I, th I think I actually timed it myself. It's like two and a half hours. <laughs> I was doing other stuff too, watching um, podcasts and stuff. But uh, yeah, he's super cute. I think next time I'll make his eyes a little bit bigger. And you can always make crochet eyes too, or embroider eyes, whichever. And he's got a good amount of stuff in. See, his stuff is sticking out around his nose. But it's just because 
I'm not the best at sewing on individual body, body parts like that. So I think the more I make, the better it would get. And my nose is different than the one in the pattern. She ended up changing it because I was talking to her about it. And um, so she ended up changing the nose pattern just a smidge. But it's still the same shape and it's still super duper cute. And I guess if you wanted to, you could probably um, use a different color shade of pink. Like even this color. Or even black or gray. And uh, make two little circles put right there to be his nostrils. That would be cute too. But I think he's adorable. And I just love his little tail. The old wasp just flew by the window. <laughs> but yeah, he's cute. And he's up now. He's $3, which is an awesome price for a cute pattern. And this would be great for craft fairs, I think. I'm going to take it, and I'm probably going to make some more between now and then. And I've been wanting, I was wanting to make some of those 3 a.m. or whatever they're called. I can't remember what they're called. Um, ones for the craft fair, because, you know, little kids would love to, you know, snuggle it and use it as a pillow and stuff. So I think it would be a cute addition to a craft fair or anyone who loves pigs. So she's a designer you definitely want to watch because I think she's going to be, like, up-and-coming designer. Because the frog pattern was adorable, the pig is adorable, and she gave me a sneak peek to her next pattern, which I won't talk, I won't mention what it is, because it's secret, but it's also adorable. So I think, um, especially if you love ambergrimis and things like that, you should definitely keep an eye on her and go follow her on all of her social medias, because uh, she's going to come out with some awesome patterns soon. <laughs> okay, enough about that. I love that little pig, though. But I only have one active whip, and it's right here. I have, you know, I still have the um, Sophie's Universe, but I haven't even touched it in forever. Uh, just because I've been so busy with other things. And this looks so small. Where are the other squares so I can measure it? Now this one, if I do ever finish it, I will have to put a lot of single crochet border on it. But this is the seventh square of the um, Unravel Mittens crochet along. And it's the Granny Peak square or something like that. Let me, let me look. Let me look, let me look. Granny Spike Stitch square. I don't know why I keep eating the pink, <laughs> but it's this, and it is a pretty stitch pattern. Both sides look really pretty, but it's a pain in the butt. I'm having such a hard time doing it. I don't know. I just it's just not me. <laughs> it's in bright yellow, but um, I'm gonna finish it. Mine is so short. Like look how short it is. So it's gonna have a lot of single crochet around it, but I'm just not enjoying this at all. Like I don't even want to finish it, but I'm going to just because I want to do the whole cow. But um, yeah. I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to finish it and uh, get it done and out of the way. That's my only whips that I've been working on. I got some more amigurumis that I want to make for that craft fair. I was talking about I want to make a bunch of little stuff like this so that they would be cheaper. And little kids, you know, if they're running around with a little bit of money, they could buy it. And then I would like to make some more of the bigger amigurumis like the rabbit I made recently and the hippo. Um, because it's in October, so I'll probably make some fall themed things like pumpkins and stuff. But it's also, it's raising money for a, um, a children, children's charity. Ugh. It's actually, it's called the Paisley Foundation. And it's raising money for um, stillborn and SIDS deaths up to age three. Uh, awareness, you know. And um, raising money for the families that's coping with that. So, the reason it's called Paisley is because the, the parents who founded it lost their daughter, whose name was Paisley, to SIDS. And uh, if you don't know what SIDS is, it's su Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. But, um, so my fee for renting my spot would go towards that. And then each booth donates an item. So I was going to make one of my bigger amigurumis as my donation item. Um, and then all the, they auction the donated items off. And then that money goes to the foundation. And then all the money that people donate goes to the foundation. And then all the money you make at your table, you get to keep yourself. And, um... In all actuality, if I do do it, I'll probably, at the end of the day, uh, after I see how much money I made at my table, I would probably donate some of it to the foundation because it's a good foundation to support. That's one thing that I was worried about a lot when Jessie was little because you hear about it a lot. It's sudden infant death, and it's scary, you know, because to think that a baby can just die for no reason. And, uh, yeah, but I'm enough of that. No more sad stuff. <laughs> I'm probably going to hop off here because i got to do some stuff. It's a little after one. It's almost two. I can't read the clock backwards. It's almost two. Devin left a little while ago for work. He just got there. He texted me, so I gotta message him. But, um, yeah. I don't think there's anything else I wanna talk about. Oh, the crochet along that I'm co hosting with Mo from Unseen Strands. I kept saying it's ending on the 14th. It's not ending on the 14th. It's supposed to end on the 22nd, which is two Mondays from this, this Monday. Yeah. 
right? Yeah, because Earth Day is the 21st, so the 22nd. Um, but I'm going to extend my part of it until May the 5th, which is the next weekend after that, because I'm so busy with wedding stuff and birthday stuff that I haven't got to make pro project bags, and I want to draw two winners out of my part of the cow, and I want to give them both project bag sets and probably some other little things, because that's what I do, you know, I make project bags. And um, I haven't been able to do that, and I want to, to give people bags. So if you're wanting to enter that cow, go over to the Facebook group, and there's a album there and the pictures for you to enter in stuff, and the rules and all that's there as an announcement. So check that out if you're interested. And I do still have a few bags in my shop, random ones I can't remember. Now a couple project bags and some notion pouches. There's a cat on my back porch. <laughs> but um, yeah, so check any of that out if you're interested. And I will see you guys next video. Bye, guys.